Eu também quero ser um profissional de skate, né, mano? E é muito louco, porque tá tão perto, tipo, que é, sei lá, uma sensação cabreira, mano. Nem acredito que tá chegando essa hora, esse momento. Aqui é a minha casa, onde eu vivo, aqui em Jaguariona, casa que minha mãe deu pra mim. E... Chega mais! Isso aqui foi minha primeira capa, mano. O irmão lá em Brasília. Nossa, essa capa aqui eu fiquei de cara, hein, mano. Não entendi nada. Você é louco. Essa daqui? Isso aí é, mano. Hill, né, mano? Em Nova York, mano. Também nem sabia, mano. Quando eu fui ver... Ei. É, Jaguariúna a gente mora aqui desde 1990. Foi importante, viu? Foi importante porque eu creio que se a gente tivesse cidade grande aí ia ser complicado, viu? Sim, eu vejo uma cidade muito tranquila, assim. É, pra quem busca tranquilidade é excelente. Pra quem busca essa tranquilidade. Jaguariuna, it's a small city. It's like a farm. People usually think about Jaguariuna. Actually, some people don't know where it is, you know. But for, for me, Jaguariuna, now it's like Thiago Lemos. Depois começou com o skate aí, né? Aí no filho começou a ficar preocupado um pouco, o skate não conhecia nada, também não sabia, né? E ele queria, ele estava dando a vida para o skate. Só que o skate, é, é, o skate depois começou a trazer problema para a escola. É, então no começo todo mundo era contra, né? Em casa aí, então não queria que andasse, né? é, tava escondia o skate, jogava fora, desse jeito, né? Eu comecei a andar de skate, meu pai e minha mãe não gostavam, eles também não gostavam que meu irmão andava. Eles fizeram de tudo pra mim não andar de skate, tá ligado? Não deu certo. Como que ele era? Bagunceiro, não parava na escola, deixava ele na escola pra andar de skate. Aí um dia eu quebrei o skate dele, ele não andava. Ele puxou back on that, like any kid would. I don't know whether that was him wanting to go out and just skate to clear his mind and learn a new trick so he doesn't have to think about some negative things. Or it was this master plan of, I'm going to be pro and I want to bring something to skateboarding. Eu conheci o, uh, tem, tem um funcionário da prefeitura que toma conta da pista de skate que jogar e ele falou para mim, falou, seu filho é, é, pelo jeito vai ser profissional, né, no skate e tal. Aí eu comecei a liberar, né. Me and him, we were pretty much the same age, so we were like 15 years old. I didn't get to see him very often back in the days, like every like five months, you know, and then every time I will see him again, he will like have like a huge progression, like he got to a point where like this is the best skateboarder ever, you know, like he is insane. Muito patrocínio, ele meu, andava com os tênis todo furado, acho que a família dele não tinha uma condição para comprar material, então meu, ele andava com as roupas toda fodida, o daí a gente falou, meu, a gente precisa trazer esse garoto para a equipe. Em 2008 a gente convidou ele para correr o King of São Paulo e ele simplesmente destruiu os dois dias de competição, virou nosso irmão, nosso parceiro de aí em diante. Brasil, é o Brasil, é o Brasil! Oi, oh, já era. Mas, uh, I think Brazil produz crazy talents because we don't have that many spots. The ground is rough. It's only Portuguese rocks. It's like super hard to skate and then we always pass 
church and what we do. You know, we always love what we do, and I don't know. It's, to this day, I can't understand why. You know, <laughs> it's just crazy to me. Struggle out there is real, you know. Everywhere it's struggle, but in Brazil we pay so much money to get Uzi board. You need to like Uzi that with so much love. When we skate, I think we just have love. We don't think about anything, you know. Na real, a evolução é sempre uma batalha, né? Tipo, Thiago sempre andou todos os dias de skate, por muitas horas assim andando de skate e acho que isso ajuda muito a evolução. It's funny when you see someone like Tiago doing his tricks, it looks like he's trying to break the ground, like stomping his tricks down, you know, and it's from their culture how rough and raw it is down there. It shows in their skating. I think what stands out to people that come from Brazil skating is just like how much that we want to make it. And then how hard life is back there, you know, how expensive stuff and how dangerous it is sometimes. When you have one chance and one opportunity, you want to give it all, you know. But I know a lot of talented people there that if they have somehow support or somehow to make it out here, they would just give everything in life to make it happen. So I think that's like the motivation to have it hands, you know. For me, I always wanted to go to the United States to be there, to skate nos picos de lá, andar de skate nas escolas e não só por causa de fama nem nada, mas também para aprender o inglês, viver outra cultura também, conhecer outras coisas. O bang mesmo é lá. I remember seeing on the internet switch back tail across the gap the ledge at beneficial. The whole thing going Mach 1 and was like, who is this dude? And from there it was like, game on, man. Like, I want to film with this guy. First time I seen Thiago skate was out in Barcelona in 2010. Blew our minds, even back then. Like, yo, who is this kid? Like, where is he from in Brazil? How'd he get so good? He's one of the best I've ever seen. I mean, just the fact that he always had a smile. O momento mais naipe para mim acho que foi quando eu conheci o Taevas e tal, ele me chamou para me convidou para filmar pro Yar Blood. Sempre foi um sonho andar de skate com ele, tá ligado? Tipo, ele filmou todos os caras assim que eu sempre me inspirei. When I set out to make We Are Blood, I wanted to make the biggest film in skateboarding history. Sei lá, eu sabia que era uma oportunidade única assim para mim, tá ligado? Então, eu queria dar o meu melhor, meu máximo que eu pudesse ali, tentar se gravar o máximo porque I know that this will be registered for always, both for me and for my skate. Filming with a skateboarder has a certain dynamic. You need to know how they skate, you need to anticipate how they're going to skate. And someone like Tiago is always pushing the boundaries of what's possible. We would always talk amongst ourselves like, dude, Tiago is going to blow up after this film. Então, sobre a Montandil, aconteceu depois do Yar Blood, assim, tipo, nem esperava por isso. Do nada os caras me deram um toque e, sei lá, o Yar Blood acho que ajudou bastante com essa parada. I was just the strongest advocate of getting him over here to the States and really being a part of DC Shoes. Something that separates Thiago, he's got this ability to skate things that are bigger than what normal humans can skate on. You'll be able to look back at some of the stuff he's done. Backside nose went nollie, backside up on the table. Like, that's something I'll remember forever. Switch front crook across the whole top ledge at Belmont. Most people skate the bottom ledge, he skates the top. Like, that's something that will be engraved in people's minds forever. Dude, he doesn't even know how good he is. Like, like he's so humble, so rad. He's got that mentality on giving respect before being shown respect, you know what I mean? And honestly, he's one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. Being a team manager of a company, you deal with a lot of different people, you know, and the best qualities that I see in Tiago are like, he's he's down, he knows what he wants to do, he's super easy to work with, and he's hungry, you know, he, he wants to make it. Puta, man, I don't know, real. I don't know what I'm going to do, man. I think the first thing, I don't know how I'm going to react at the time, if I'm going to cry, if I'm going to... I just know that it's going to be a happiness, unforgettable. Levar pro resto da vida, né, meu? Você é louco.
Yeah, so we're like at the tail end of finishing the Boulevard video right now. Rodrigo Peterson's trying to film his like last trip. Things should be good right now. And we all met up here at Jake One and it's Charlie's birthday and then we're gonna like surprise him because after the, this video drops like their pro boards are coming out. But we wanted to like give it to them just like between like the, the crew specifically. And we figured we'd just give it to him tonight since it's his birthday and show him what kind of surprise him with their board. Então, o legal da Boulevard, mano, é que é todo mundo uma família, tá ligado? You know, we're not some huge company. It's more about the, the team, the friends. It's a huge part of Boulevard. It's, it's why we're even here. When you write for a board company, you're always trying to be with your homies and express how we feel through the company. I think the family vibe at Boulevard comes from some of the funnest parts about skateboarding, you know, when you're a kid. And it's like having your crew and just mashing out through the streets with all your friends. Going pro with Thiago, that means a lot for me, man. Sometimes things happen for a reason, you know. Thiago is my inspiration since the first day I saw him, man. Never forget in my life. They both got on Boulevard basically at the same time. We kind of wanted to give them their boards together. I think Carlos and Tiago, they have a super good connection. They've been skating together for a long time. They're super good friends. That's what skateboarding is all about, you know. Just have fun with your friends, be happy, and, you know, progress together. They deserve what they got, you know, they pro. You know, being able to see some of these guys start from such humble beginnings and grow into these amazing individuals, seeing them get the cover of a magazine to turning pro, is such an amazing thing to watch. I think Tiago's a future legend for sure. The way he carries himself, the way he speaks to people, the types of tricks he does, how he does them. XD! The dude is the truth, man. É um sentimento de felicidade assim pela conquista que ele teve na vida dele hoje por ele ter saído de Jaguariú, não, uma cidade tão pequena, para uma superação de evolução. Só que ele é uma pessoa humilde. A pessoa pediu alguma coisa para ele, ele tira a roupa do corpo e dá para os outros. Então mostra que quando você faz é, o que você ama, quando você faz o que você gosta, quando você faz aquilo que faz o seu coração vibrar, vale a pena. Você é recompensado e reconhecido. E aí que continua fazendo, quer dizer, agora. Agora vai ser o contrário, né? <risos> Andar de skate por amor, tá ligado? Fazer as coisas certas, sei lá. Não querer ser mais que ninguém. Respeitar o próximo, assim, tudo vai acontecendo naturalmente.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.